Foxworthy, welcome to a special celebrity edition of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Now, all week long, we have had the WWE superstars in here playing for charity. Kids, before we meet your new classmate, I want you to take a look at him in action in the WWE SmackDown. that is, but he's handsome, I'll tell you that. He's a, he's a <laughs> good-looking good good kid. kid, huh? Who would ever thought this kid would end up being a professional wrestler, a WWE superstar? What kind of student was the guy? Um, believe it or not, a little bit of a teacher's pet. I was, I was a smart kid. Well, welcome to the show. I know you're playing for charity today. Yes. Tell everybody. Um, today I'm playing for Make-A-Wish. I'm hoping to win some big money for Make-A-Wish today. For Make -A -Wish. Before we start the game, let me try those on real quick. Okay. Because these are so boring. Absolutely. If you these want, so you can wear these for the whole show. Is that sweet? That's it. Except you can't see anything. You got the crosses in front of your eyes. Well, that's the problem. You sometimes bump into walls and things. But you look cool. Exactly. You look cool when you're doing it. Right. Let me tell you something that's different from between when that kid was in school and you being here today, we let you cheat in this classroom, all right? Yes! Let me tell you who you're gonna get to cheat off of. You're gonna like this. They're these very smart fifth graders over here. Let me introduce them. Kamani, Taylor, and Kevin. That is it, yeah. All right, John, pick one of them and let's get started. Let me go with Kamani first. Kamani, come on up here. That's the pose that I do when I walk out to the ring. Oh, trust me, he is so excited you are here. He is the biggest wrestling fan we have in the classroom. We had your buddy The Miz in here. Boy, what a low energy guy he is, huh? I know. I mean, you didn't let him drink any coffee before he came oh, on, did you? Oh, my gosh, he was crazy. I thought he was going to tear the, the, the button right off the thing, but he, but he did well. Yeah. He played well. He, so we hope you do the same thing today. I, I, heard, I heard about that, and all I want to do is beat The Miz. That's all you want to do is beat The yes. Miz. That competitive thing, all right? Beat The Miz for Make-A-Wish. Well, let me tell you how we're going to do that, John. You're going to take a little test with us. Okay. It has 10 subjects, first grade through the fifth grade. You can answer them in any order you like. You get this right, I have a bonus question that can multiply your winnings by 10. We could win a quarter of a million dollars today for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Sound good? Sounds good to me. All right, let's find out. Is John Morrison smarter than a fifth grader? All right, Mr. Big Time Wrestling Fan. We want to help John win some money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. It's not a big time wrestling fan, it's Shaman of Sexy. Shaman of Sexy, that's who you are now? We got the guru of greatness and the, the shaman, shaman of, of sexy, sexy over here. Uh, let's go with fifth grade anatomy. Fifth grade anatomy, that's what he likes, but it's up to you. Let's go for it, Shaman. Fifth grade anatomy. All right. Fifth grade questions are worth $5,000, John. Here's this one. Woo, here we go. In humans, the pituitary gland is attached by a stalk to what internal organ? In humans, the pituitary gland is attached by a stalk to what internal organ? Kamani has locked in his answer. It's a part of the endocrine system, controls hormones, and I think it's in the brain. Let's go with, let's go with brain. Okay. Lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. People think you guys are all muscle. You got brain, too. You're absolutely right. There we go. Yeah, man. Yeah. In the song. Yeah, man. You and the shaman, one for one. Nine subjects remain. Let's add to the five grand. Literature! Fifth grade literature. Fifth grade literature. Let's get 
the hard ones done first. Here's the question. Kevin's favorite book is the 1850 novel David Copperfield. Who wrote it? All right, Kamani has locked in his answer. Charles Dickens. Lock it in. What you thinking, shaman of sexy? I think he's going somewhere. I hate to tell you, that is absolutely right, Charles Dickens! Where next, Ooh. my friend? Fourth grade grammar. Fourth grade grammar, OK. The fourth grade grammar question is, what is the intransitive verb in the following sentence? Taylor laughed as she threw the referee out of the ring. What is the intransitive verb in the following sentence? Taylor laughed as she threw the referee out of the ring. Kamani has locked in his answer. <laughs> have you ever thrown the referee out of the ring? Um, actually, I have. <laughs> and it, I, don't, I don't blame you. It's the kind of fun thing to do. <laughs> do you have an idea? That would be the question. I noticed the shaman over there locked in pretty quickly. Open for a potential save. Sure. But I'm going to go with through. Lock it in. Okay. All right. An intransitive verb is a verb that can stand alone and be complete. Taylor threw is not a complete sentence because we don't know what she threw. So in this case, laughed is the correct answer, not threw. Come on, e. Let me get out of the way here. Either we're going to laugh or somebody's going to get thrown off the stage here. I'm guessing it's our guess here. I was going to let you try the sunglasses on. Yeah. If he saves you, can he if, try if the he saves sunglasses you, he can try on? the sunglasses on. How about that? Okay. Okay. That's a fair deal. Kamani said. Laugh! 